you know how many of us these days actually carry cash well many people instead use credit or debit cards but if you do new show five investigates found you could fall victim to something called electronic pickpocketing consumer investigator jennifer kraus is in the newsroom with the details and jennifer this is really incredible it sure is kristen you know we hear how technology is supposed to be making our lives easier these days but in this case it's making us more vulnerable to theft that's because more and more bank cards have tiny chips in them. And if you have one of these bank cards, we found someone could very easily steal your credit card information right out from under you. Okay. Watch this. Here's your chase card right there. You this is how cards. easy it is. And yeah, you have a uh, Visa card in here. I do. And this is your entire credit card number. Oh, man. You All it takes for someone to steal your credit card information right out of your wallet. Everything we need to make purchase. All your banking accounts. Did you oh realize God. it was that easy? Hell no. Most people, in fact, have no idea that many credit and debit cards now have something called RFID, or Radio Frequency Identification Technology, in them. They're tiny chips that allow customers to simply wave their cards in front of a reader like this in stores to complete a transaction. This is just a typical tablet case, and we've just used it to put our equipment in. But Walt Augustinowitz, who calls himself a consumer advocate, found the same kind of reader online for less than $100. And yeah, you actually have, uh, looks like a Chase card, Visa. Uh-huh. And all he had to do was wave it near someone's wallet or purse, and instantly... Is that all 16 digits of your debit card number? Yep. Yeah. Well, that's it. He had their entire credit card number with expiration date sent to his phone screen. Wow, that is amazing. That sucks. It's scary. And if you think that's scary, get this. Thieves can also now steal your credit card information just by tapping into your smartphone. You set your phone in your purse next to your credit card. You put it in your pocket with your wallet. It can scan those credit cards and send them off to an email address anywhere in the world with no record on the phone. You see, the latest generation of phones has something called near-field communication technology. It's a radio signal that allows people to just wave their phone at a cash register to pay for items. But that radio can scan your credit card. And Augustinowitz showed us how a thief could easily create something like a game with a hidden line of code in it. And phones that downloaded the app would first detect credit cards nearby with the RFID chip. But at this point, it's actually already transmitted that credit card number. And send it straight to the thief. It's explosive. I mean, you're going to literally have in the next year millions of phones that can scan hundreds of millions of cards. But in statements sent to News Channel 5 Investigates, the major credit card companies insist their RFID cards are secure. MasterCard calls electronic pickpocketing a myth. This is a MasterCard you have in there? Well, Visa says its cards are designed to protect against fraud. Well, my Visa card information just got stolen. The credit card companies also insist that because the information sent does not include customer names or the three-digit code on the back of the card, someone couldn't actually go out and make purchases. Augustinowitz says he's done that on more than one occasion. I know they like to say this isn't easy to do, but it really is. With permission, of course, he's taken the account information he's swiped like this and been able to order products over the phone from well-known companies. He's also been able to transfer someone else's account information onto the magnetic strip of a hotel room key and then used it to go shopping. I walked into a Burger King and waved it and it just said approved and I kind of shaking myself and walked out. I can't believe that worked. And neither could people like this. There's your credit card number right here. Who now realize just how vulnerable they truly are. I'd say it can happen. So how do you know if you have a bar bank card like this? Well, most likely it will either have this symbol or the word blink or pay pass on either the front or the back of the card. Now, if you have one of these and are wondering, what do I do to protect myself? Well, Walt Augustinowitz has a company that makes these tiny envelopes. You slide your credit card inside and your information is shielded. Or you can simply wrap your card in aluminum foil like this. It's not as neat or as fancy, but it also does the trick. Another option is to simply call your bank and ask them to reissue your credit card without an RFID chip. We do want to make sure that everyone understands that buzzing you heard in our story was a sound that uh, Augustinowitz had added to his device so we would know when we came across a card with an RFID chip. With a thief, there's not going to be that sound, Kristen, so you're not going to know what's going on. Yeah, the sleeves look pretty good. I think the tinfoil would be a little bit bulky, but you have to safeguard yourself. Jennifer, it seems though that the credit card companies don't see this as a big problem.
Well, at least publicly they don't, and you can read their full statements. We'll have them posted on our website. We're also going to post these documents, documents that Visa probably never intended for you to see. These are patent applications, and in them Visa acknowledges that data skimming, which is what it's called, is, quote, entirely possible, and that it should be a major concern for consumers and businesses alike. Good story, Jennifer. Very interesting and very informative. Well, RFID chips are also now used in U.S. passport cards, but unlike the credit card companies, the federal government admits there are potential dangers, and so they send out these little protective sleeves as well with each passport card. Now, you can find out how to order one of these sleeves for your credit cards as well, like Jennifer was showing, by going to our website and looking for the story under News Channel 5 Investigates.